I have a confession to make. I spent $250 on a Lego set that I don't like. Well, not really, kind of, it's it's complicated. I was already going to buy the Viking Village and this Star Wars set, so it's not like I went out just to buy random stuff to hit the threshold, but I don't think I'm alone in saying that this set is nothing short of a disappointment. From the nearly unchanged build to the unprinted minifigures and stickered parts, this remake has left a lot of Castle fans disappointed. Is a big part of this because of the overblown expectations that us Castle fans had for the set? Yes, but there is a lot that went into making this set fall short and that's what I want to get into in this video. You've already seen people in LAN review the set, so I want to talk about what the set means for the future of castle sets and GWPs in general. To start, the minifigures. Magisto is the exact same unprinted minifigure from the 90th anniversary castle, and the new Dragon Master has unprinted legs, the wrong armor, and doesn't come with a shield. The new Dragon Master just straight up falls short compared to the updated Black Falcon and Lion Knights that we've gotten in the past few years. Those knights both have printed legs to show the tabard or surcoat cover a bit past the hip, which I think really helps modernize those classic factions. The new Dragon Master has unprinted legs that don't do that, so it doesn't match up with the newer prints that we got for the other knights. Now you might be thinking, well, wait, hold up, the forest that came out in last year's forest hideout didn't have any leg printing either. And you would be correct, they don't. But that suits the style of the forestman while still being modernized in the torso. The forestman wouldn't really need super detailed legs like a knight would. The falcons and lions both got new prints for the legs and the torso, so why do the Dragon Masters not get the same treatment? I really don't know. Now I know people are really disappointed by the fact that we didn't get any new plumes or a new mold for the Dragon Master's helmet, but I'm not surprised considering new molds generally never come with gift with purchases. The thing I am surprised by is the fact that we didn't get a new shield print for the fig. The Forestmen got a new shield print in their GWP, so I thought it was a shoe in that the Dragon Knights would also get an updated one. One last final complaint about this fig is that it has a blue sliver on each sleeve of the torso. Now you might be thinking, okay, wait, come on, that's a bit of a nitpick. But the reason this is an issue for a lot of fans of the original faction is because it means you cannot replace the arms to make some of the other variations of Dragon Masters that had a black arm. Again, not the end of the world, but I'm not a big fan of this design choice. Moving on to Magisto. When the Lion Knight's castle came out, me and every other castle fan buying the set were hunched over the build a minifigure station building this guy to replace the boring and plain Magisto from the castle. It is genuinely really confusing why LEGO have stuck with this plain torso and skirt for their most memorable LEGO castle character. I really don't get it at all. All they'd have to do is recolor this peasant torso that's already in production in blue and it would look perfect for an updated Magisto. I asked all of you in a community post about a week or so ago to send me pictures of your own custom Magistos to show what we could have got instead of the official fig. Thanks to everyone who sent in a pic, I was so surprised by how many people sent in their customs. While your Magistos go by on screen, I want to talk about the build of the set. Now the original set wasn't a looker by any means, but it has some real potential to be modernized in a similar fashion to the way the Forest Hideout was last year. But it looks like the general consensus among Castle fans is that the set didn't do quite enough to improve on the original build. Don't get me wrong, there are some aspects that I really like, like the new updated curved tree branches and the micro-ish scale balcony, but the build on the whole just looks the same, if not worse, than the original. The roof is the best example of this in my opinion. It is a near one-to-one -one copy of the original set. The forest hideout from last year improved the original by using tiles to modernize the look while staying faithful to the original design. Before seeing images of the set, I expected them to do the same for Magisto's workshop. And that's where the real problem is with the build for me. It just doesn't do enough to warrant being a remake. I feel like one of the reasons they stayed closer to the original build might be because of the reaction to the Blacktron GWP. Because a lot of people say that that set strayed too far from the original design. Again, the forest hideout found a really terrific balance between using new parts and keeping the aesthetic of Classic Castle. Magisto's Workshop just does not do that. And for me, it looks messy. I can forgive sets from 20 to 30 years ago looking clumsy and archaic, but a modern remake needs to emulate that original aesthetic while using the techniques and parts of modern LEGO to create a whole new set. The original set of the 90s goes for around a hundred-ish dollars used, which brings us to the biggest issue with the set, the $250 price tag. Now granted, this set will probably go for around 40 to 70 dollars on the aftermarket by the time the GWP time ends, but that's still a large asking price for this set. If if you go on lego.com, it lists the set at a value of 30 US dollars, which is the price it should cost if it was released as a standard retail set. But since it's a GWP, you have to buy $250 worth of sets. Now, as I've stated in a previous video, I wouldn't have as much of an issue with this if we had a dedicated line of castle sets. But since this is the only one we're getting this year, it's a problem. And that brings me to the last portion of the video. Will lego continue with a trend of mediocre to okay nostalgic remakes for a Gen X and millennial audience that grew up with lego in the 80s and 90s? Or will they make sets that everyone can enjoy like the Medieval Blacksmith, 3-in-1 Castle, and the Lion Knight's Castle. I honestly am hopeful and believe that this is just a small misstep and that they will get back to making great models with detailed minifigures that every LEGO Castle fan can enjoy. With the rumors of a Medieval Town Square set coming next year, I can't wait to see what the future of LEGO Castle looks like. If you enjoyed this video, why not check out one of the others on screen now? All I make is Medieval LEGO videos, so if you enjoy that, you might like my other videos. Thanks for watching.